Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about one of my favorite subjects, flawless skin, specifically flawless makeup. In this video, how to maintain that flawless makeup look all day, have your makeup last all day, and also look the most natural as possible. That is key for me, that's my aesthetic, that's what I love, beautiful, natural-ish looking makeup. So let's get right into it. First for me, flawless makeup starts before one stitch of it ever hits your face. And for me, that has everything to do with exfoliation. You gotta exfoliate your skin to have your makeup lay on it the most beautifully and flawless that it can be. This these Volition Apple Cider Vinegar Peel Pads, I've been using these so much lately. They're a newer product from the brand Volition. I have really been getting into quite a few of their products and I'm loving them. These are pads that you just slip onto your fingers. There's a little uh, hole that you can just slip, slip the pad onto your fingers and you just go over your entire face and it smells exactly like apple cider vinegar so if you do love that if you are a diy person that's maybe used real apple cider vinegar all on its own to tone or cleanse your face you'll love these they smell exactly like the real deal travel friendly because there there is no liquid component everything is on the saturated pad so i love these also, you guys know, you guys know. I love my Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is my number one acid serum that I always, always, and probably will forever recommend to people because Pharmacy did a really amazing job putting in as many soothing ingredients into this product. There's lots of acids, acid serums on the market that do just as great of a job, but I don't think as many people, as many consumers will be able to benefit from it because it's just too harsh on the skin. Pharmacy did a great job of including honey, echinacea, and a lot of other gentle ingredients that really helped to combat that ag the aggressiveness that chemical acids can do to your skin. So great job, Pharmacy. I love this product so much. A more affordable version for you guys I have here is From the Ordinary. This is their lactic acid 10% plus HA. Again, The Ordinary has done a great job of including an ingredient like HA, hyaluronic acid, to uh, combat the, the uh, irritation issue that a lot of people experience when using acids. They also have a 5% lactic acid version. If 10 is a bit too strong, if you have sensitive skin, you've never used a chemical acid before, start with the 5% before moving on to this one. The second step, definitely moisturize. You need to have supple, soft, moisturized skin for makeup to lay on properly. You gotta first get all the dead skin off by exfoliation, then you gotta go and put the moisture and the, the, the suppleness and softness back in with your moisturizer. Lately, I have really been loving this Belief True Aqua Balm. They do have uh, another one that is more for drier skins. The Aqua Balm is definitely more for uh, oilier skins, and I believe it's the Aqua Cream, I think it's called, that's more for drier skins. But I love the consistency. I love how great, how easy it sinks into the skin. This is a really, really well done moisturizer. Highly recommend. Also another one that I've used for so many years and I discovered it because I have always followed and really looked up to a lot of the pro uh, MUAs, celebrity pro MUAs out there and everyone, if, if you're a pro MUA out there and you don't have this in your kit, Girl, what are you doing? Embryolise. Everyone loves this and it took me forever to finally get it and try it and I understand why every pro MUA uses this on their clients. It's fantastic. It's 
it's a type of a hybrid product. When I use it, I feel like I'm putting like a moisturizer slash, like a lotion slash cream slash balm on my skin but it's not in any way, shape, or form heavy. It does not clog pores. It doesn't make you overly greasy. If you are on the oilier side, you will definitely still benefit from this. It's a beautiful, beautiful product that just has your skin looking just the most perfectly moisturized, supple, softest possible. It's great. And I'm also gonna recommend an oil to you guys. I know, especially if you have drier skin, Oil is definitely something that you can mix in with your foundations to give you even more of that natural, dewier, skin-like finish. This one from The Ordinary, this is their Rose Hip Seed Oil, and I recommend this one specifically because it's so light. I have oilier skin, and Rose Hip Seed Oil is always gonna be my number one oil of choice because it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look greasy, I personally am not gonna use this under makeup. I would only use a facial oil at night just because I don't want to look greasier than I need to and have to touch up more often when my oils really start coming through in the middle of the day. But definitely for drier skins, mixing in an oil into your foundation is definitely gonna have you looking just that much more flawless and supple and healthy looking. Next, we can't forget to prime. Priming is key to long lasting makeup. I truly believe that. I know a lot of people don't use primers at all and still find that their makeup holds up. So the first one I'm gonna mention is Tatcha. This is their silk canvas. This is a wonderful primer that just evens you all out. Like the name suggests, it gives you a silk canvas to put your makeup on top of. It leaves your skin feeling silky smooth, blurs everything out. This is a really well done primer. And a very similar one too that does a really great job of smoothing everything out is Fenty. Fenty's primer. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Fenty did a great job with this primer. It really just smooths everything out. That for me is probably the number one thing that I really look for in primers right now is the smoothing factor, that filter factor. That's what we all want, right? Really, really love that Fenty one. But also of course, because I'm combo oily, I've got some poor situations going on oils that love to bust through <laughs> all my makeup. So I need to fill in those pores and mattify my skin, especially now getting into the warmer months of the year. These next two are a must. The Porefessional from Benefit, my number one pore filling primer. This baby has been with me for so long and it will continue to be with me for many more years to come. It's that good, it just does the job. You put this on and it's pores where, pores who? Definitely that is the one for you. And my Makeup Forever Step One. This is my number one favorite mattifying primer. I love this primer so much to keep my T-zone especially more on the matte side, definitely. I don't want a completely matte face, but because I'm combo oily, I always have to play around with keeping at least my T-zone, you know, a little bit toned down with the shine. I don't wanna be totally matte because I do feel like a more natural satin finish looks the most youthful, looks the most natural, looks the most real. I want my skin to look as close to what it looks like without any makeup on as possible. And I don't have matte skin without makeup, but I definitely need to do something to keep things in control. Makeup Forever definitely gets the job done. And lastly, something to give you a little bit more moisture, especially if you're on the drier side, but I'm combo oily and I love this one. I use it all the time. Too Faced, their Hangover RX. This is a really beautiful primer that also is gonna give you extra hydration. It's got coconut water. 
it smells amazing like coconuts and it just does a really great job of giving your skin that uh, hydration boost so that one i definitely do recommend next is setting definitely the two most important steps of makeup for looking your most flawless and for longevity purposes in my opinion is how you prep your skin before makeup and how you set it after i am a huge lover of loose powders i don't care what brand it is as far as i'm concerned there is no pressed powder out there on the market that looks as flawless as a loose powder i am always 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 if i want to look my absolute best gonna use a loose powder to set my makeup i use pressed all the time on the day to day if i'm just running around or you know going out to dinner and it's not that serious how flawless i look but when i want to look my most 100 percent flawless have my makeup last 100 percent all day all night i'm gonna go with loose and the two loose ones that i've been loving a lot lately are my forever love graftobian you guys know if you've been watching me i can't stop talking about this damn powder i love it this is their Lux cashmere hd setting powder they have a variety of shades but this is my favorite the yellow one in a banana cream pie and also fenty i've really been loving fenty's loose powder i use the shade honey i am definitely getting a full size of this i love it riri did her thing with this powder it just leaves a beautiful beautiful finish to the skin helps to lock everything in and l everything lasts all day when you use a loose powder and these two have been my absolute favorites lately and my very last tip is not concerning any specific products but more of a philosophy if you will and it is the less is more philosophy that's what i practice that's what i love that's what i believe in i truly do believe your makeup will look the most flawless and last the longest the less product you use and that doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice coverage and i think a lot of people definitely get into that mindset like well if i have to use less products i'm not going to achieve the coverage i want i want full coverage but you can have everything covered up but still not use as much product as maybe you previously have been using my whole big thing is if you're using a full coverage foundation think of strategic areas that you can put it in do you need full coverage all over your entire face maybe you've got some breakouts in the chin area and you need to put extra product there maybe you, you've got some cheek breakouts maybe your forehead only put the coverage where you need it also working in layers layers are so important that's why i've always kind of loved light to medium coverage foundations and i use them in a full coverage capacity when i want to even though it's a light to medium foundation i can layer it up to a fuller coverage rather than going in full force with a 100 percent full coverage layer just one layer that is going to really look heavy and cakey and i know you know we all want to save time and it sounds like it doesn't make sense to do it that way because you're just wasting time and maybe wasting product you think but i think for the overall finished look you're better off using a lighter foundation and doing two or three layers of that lighter foundation rather than one full coverage layer so that's it guys those are my five tips for how to keep your foundation your base looking the most flawless as possible natural as possible and last all day please let me know in the comments down below what other tips that you have used uh, over the years that you find really help with looking the most flawless and lasting all day uh, having your makeup look flawless and last all day help help us out help a sister out help everyone else out in the comments give me a thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time bye